Okay, I want to show you real quick how you can take a Google drawing and insert it into a Google Doc. Before we do that though, I want to show you the word art feature in Google Drawings because it's very, very powerful and I think it'll be super useful for you when it comes to um, your poetry assignments. So insert word art. All right, so I just pasted I am. I copied that from uh, the directions page. Now I'll hit enter. Now I have I am. I can put it wherever I want, and I can change it too. Arial is kind of a boring font. I'm going to switch to coming soon. And let's make it bold. And over here, I'm going to change my line weight to an 8 because I think that looks better. See how we have nice dark lines around everything now? I just think that looks uh, more pronounced, more interesting. Now, this is far too large if I want to fit everything I'm supposed to fit onto this drawing, so I'm going to shrink it down. This is one of the benefits of word art as opposed to just typing something. You don't have to mess with font. You can just make it fit however you want. All right? And in this way, you can have a lot of information uh, line up with little information or vice versa. Now, let's say I don't like the blue color. I change the fill color to red. All right? We have a lot more options. Maybe I don't like the coming soon font. I'll switch to consolas. Right. That might be better because the I looks more like an I as opposed to an L. But, you know, this is entirely up to you. And again, I just have to grab the corner and drag to change. Now, see that red line? That means I'm centered on the screen. If I take it down here, I can find the dead center. Okay, so through the magic of time delay. I have the rest of my poem, uh, well, the beginning of each line of my poem, I guess, written here. Now, it's obviously not perfect because it's not all on the background here. I have the last I am falling off the bottom and I have this I up here coming off the top. Now I can adjust individually if I click on things and I'm just using the arrow keys once they're highlighted to move them around. All right, try and get this nice in line feel. Oh, didn't want to go down. Again, I'm just using the arrow keys here. Nice and easy to get that almost uh, reverse ladder look there. All right, so now I have that, but I still have uh, this eye coming off the top, and I have the I am at the bottom, off the bottom. So what I'm going to do is drag my cursor across the screen and highlight all of my work. Again, you're just going to drag and highlight everything. Now, when I move it, it's all connected, even though they're individual pieces. And I can resize how I need to. So that doesn't look great up in the upper corner. I fixed that now. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger, try and fill up my screen. All right. So now that looks like that. Again, I can click on any of these and change them because I put them in all as separate uh, words. In fact, let's change some of our colors here. We'll go with different shades in this red family here. I say, I cry, and that's how you can adjust. Okay, so here's the final part in this series. I have everything the way I want it. Now I've got to insert it into my document. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to say Download as a PNG. And now there it is, downloaded as a PNG. I'm going to go back to my drive. And let's see, I'm going to search for something. Uh, we're going to say the owner is a specific person. And the owner is Jay DeFeo at Runnymede. All right, so there's Ms. DeFeo. And I'm going to write I am is in the item name. So search. There it is. And Frank, I am poem. That's owned by Mr. Fail. 
I'm going to open that up. And now I've already done the work of my I am home. All I have to do is insert it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to insert an image. It's not going to be a drawing because I've downloaded it as an image. And I'm going to choose an image. It should be in my downloads folder. I am, there it is, PNG, open. So there's the poem. Now I can also click on it and I can do a text wrap on it. Uh, that allows me to move it around a little bit more easily. But there it is. That's how you can get it on your document. Any questions? Feel free to ask. That's what I'm here for.